Good morning, and may the peace of our almighty and merciful God be with you all. I want to thank the organizers of this wonderful conference for inviting me, and I regret that it was not, has not been possible for me to be with you due to previous other engagement in the Vatican. But my heart and my mind are also with you. We hear every day very bad and terrible news of conflicts, wars, and sufferings in the world in the name of religion by those who about religion know very little or nothing at all. But thanks be to God, there are many voices and many initiatives seeking dialogue and cooperation among peoples of different faiths. It is a project that all of us must be fully involved in, which is why I would have been very glad to be with you. I wish you a successful meeting because this is going on all over the world and it, I believe this is the sign of our times and it is God himself who is encouraging it. We should try our best to maintain certain basic principles. The principle of freedom of religion. Everybody has a right to worship God according to his mind. That auto automatically means that there are many kinds, we must admit the fact that there is a pluralism of, of religion, not only in the world, but also within each nation, which means the rights of religious minorities must be fully respected. Otherwise, we cannot have peace. We must also clearly define the relationship between religion and politics, because experience has shown that where religion and politics are mixed together or confused together, the evils of politics often infect the beauty of religion. It is possible to distinguish these two elements. And finally, we should seek common grounds, common ground in God, the Father of all of us, and our common challenges for our common humanity. Pope Francis spoke about this earth as our common home. Whether you are Muslim or Buddhist, Catholic, or you cannot live anywhere else but this earth of ours. And uh, the issue of uh, climate change is a typical example of how it is necessary that all men and women of this world, irrespective of our race and religion, must put, put our hands, to, hands together to make this world a better place. Not only in terms of climate change, but also and above all in terms of interhuman relationship. Yes, the humanity has seen wars all through the history, but we have reached a stage now where we must find a way to reduce and, if possible, eradicate wars which cause nothing but suffering. May God grant us peace in the world of our days. Once again, congratulations on this meeting. I wish you God's blessing.